Hello all and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. It's time to heal, transform, and learn to live our happiest lives. Today is going to be a great show. We learn to look our best on Zoom, bake a tasty chocolate tart, and how a good smile can boost our self-confidence. We first meet the entrepreneur and makeup artist, Trish McAvoy. She's the founder and CEO of Trish McAvoy Beauty. She teaches us how to look our best on Zoom. We then learn how to make the holidays special with an easy 10 minute dark chocolate tart from TV chef, Weight Watchers recipe developer and healthy cooking expert, Julie Hartigan. Lastly, we meet Dr. D. He shares the importance of a smile, how a good smile can be life changing and how he is transforming others with his smile makeover. Oh, Marcy, I am so thrilled to be with you. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm so excited to have you and talking about makeup on Zoom and Zoom looks. I can't tell you how many women are constantly bringing that up. Um, so thank you for coming on and sharing your expertise. A pleasure. But before we jump into Zoom, I want to talk about your new kits that you have out, which are absolutely gorgeous. My new, my new makeup planner. It is the perfect holiday planner for 2020. Everything mm -hmm. in this planner is about easy, quick makeup. 24-hour pins that give you the smoky eye in a minute. Bronzer and blush that enhance the complexion. Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of lip color, not too much. And all of us are so dry. We're giving you also our beautiful oil, our mascara that is tubular, that totally guarantees that it will stay on all day. And our instant eye lift, base essential that totally brightens the upper eyelid and our brow pomade. So it's everything you need to look Zoom and holiday ready. It's our makeup planner, for holiday 2020. I love it so much. I just want you to know I have all of you on. <laughs> I did my eyes. I have both your planners here. So um, absolutely. And I love the shadow colors. Gorgeous. Oh, they're 24 hour. And what's great, you put them on, all you have to do is blend with your finger. It's totally mistake proof. You know, we're in a time. What, honey? I was just going to say they blend so beautifully. I know. And easy. The key is not a lot of steps. We're all in a very casual mode, yeah. but we want to just bring it up a notch. Exactly. So let's talk about the Zoom makeup. What are oh. we doing? <laughs> well, friend, first of all, I think it's so important when we speak about Zoom that people really understand that when you are on Zoom, people are able to look at you much closer than if you're in person. So what you want to do is, of course, to be yourself, but enhanced. And with Zoom, everything is casual. So one, you don't have to wear a lot of makeup, but you do need to work on your under eye and your upper eye. You've got to ensure that's bright. You've got to ensure that you even out your complexion and do not forget face color. Face color makes all the difference in the world. Look at you, you've got that beautiful glow on your skin. Just the right amount of lip color. Don't go too red, don't go too dressy. The key is to add just the right amount that you look like you at your best. And do not forget the brows, girlfriends. Do not. Brows frame the eye. And liner is important, just a little bit to ensure that you bring out the shape of your eye. I, I love it. And you you have a lot of tips and ideas, right, on your website. And so I sure do. Mm -hmm. Go to trishmacavoy.com. You'll find the planner there. You'll get the tips there. It's easy, easy, easy to look your best on Zoom. But the most important thing is to understand Zoom is not forgiving. So 
Mm. Real life can be very forgiving. Zoom is not. Please put foundation on. Please brighten the eye. A little bit of color on the cheeks and mascara. And hair is very important. Make sure that your face Mm -hmm. works well with your hair. Yeah, so, you know, maybe we don't think about our hair as much, you know. I do think about it because I'm doing stuff on social media or on air. But for the women out there, the entrepreneurial women, like how can they? I I told it's women so also, easy today. embrace it, the girls. It's so easy today. Today, so many companies have come out with products that make hair very easy. Mm-hmm. Baby Bliss, Revlon, they have blowers and curling irons in one that are $50. And literally, they give your hair such a professional look. They blow and curl in a few steps. It's amazing, amazing. Yeah, I think you don't have to do a lot. Yeah, I think people, women sometimes get overwhelmed because they're not sure how to do it. But it really isn't. It is something to learn, just like anything else. I, I think. I think the key is go on YouTube. Yeah. On YouTube, you can find anything. Yes. And definitely look at these new ones that Revlon, um, they all make them now. They're blow dryers and curlers in one. They're $50, maybe $85, maybe $35. And your hair will look phenomenal. You do not have to spend a lot of time to look your best. I don't know about you, Marcy, but I spend my entire look is 10 minutes. How about you? Yeah, I, I quickly put my makeup on and I feel really good about myself. And you're you're right, just putting the color on my cheeks, getting those eyelashes and eyebrows are so important and just cleaning up the skin as far as making it look even. Mm-hmm. And so, if, yeah. if you give yourself five minutes, it doesn't take more than that. Yeah. You will come across on Zoom like you are polished. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look glam, but what you do want is to look not tired. Mm -hmm. You do want to reflect the best version of yourself. And that's really what it's about. Absolutely. Trish, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Austin, for having me. You're gorgeous as ever. You are. You are. (laughs) Bye, guys. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. You too, darling. Next step, cooking with Julie. She's sharing a tasty treat for the holidays. Julie, welcome back to Wake Up with Marcy. Hi, thanks so much for having me. It's so fun to be back. What tasty treat are you going to make for us today? Okay, so holiday 2020 looks a little different for all of us, but I'm a big believer in still celebrating and making things special in an easy way. And as you know, Marcy, I love doing what I call happy meets healthy recipes. So things that are really fun and easy to do, but with a lightened up vibe. So today we're gonna make my easiest ever five minute dark chocolate ganache tarts. Check these out. No baking, only a few ingredients, one pot. And they're super fun and festive for at home or to gift too. So to start out, one of my favorite ingredients to always keep on hand in your freezer are these little mini phyllo shells. So you can use these also for savory little appetizers. They come pre-made and all you need to do is bake them for like two to three minutes just to kind of crisp them up a little bit like this. And then we're gonna fill them with this yummy ganache. And a tip for everybody at home who wants to make this recipe, save the little holder that they come in in the package because after you decorate them, if you wanna bring them to a neighbor or family member, you can just put them in here to make them easy to transport. Now in a saucepan, you're just gonna combine a little bit of low fat milk and a little bit of butter. Now normal ganache has tons of heavy cream in it, possibly more butter. Once it's simmering, you have choices here to add different fun flavorings to this. You could either take a standard size, like upscale bar of chocolate like this, it's about three and a half ounces and chop it up. You could do flavored chocolate if you want or go straight chocolate. Or if you want, the recipe on my website also has how to swap in just three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips instead. So I've gotten some started here. Once the um, butter and the milk are simmering, you just turn off the heat, add your chocolate, give it a quick whisk, and I'll show you what this looks like. Give everyone a little peek at home. If anyone is a chocolate fan, you're gonna get hungry now. You can see how beautiful that looks and glossy. 
And then all you need to do is take this filling and pop it right in your pre-baked shells. So part of my recipe for the straightforward ones, I added a little vanilla extract, but if you wanted, you could add some peppermint extract, um, trying to think coconut extract, rum extract would be really fun, or coffee extract just to give the chocolate base, the ganache a different flavor. But what's really fun, and this is so fun for kids too, any moms that are watching, now you get to have a good time with different toppings for these. So That's here great. are some- now, Julie. I have a quick yeah. question for you. When you are cooking that chocolate, where do we put the heat? Oh, you just, all you need to do, here's the tip with the chocolate. You're actually not even cooking the chocolate. You're really just bringing the milk and the butter up to a low simmer. Okay. And then you just turn it off, put in your chopped up chocolate or your chocolate chips and whisk it and it'll come together. So you don't, okay. the, the thing that's tricky with chocolate and some people might've had um, a challenge with it in the past. If you have the chocolate on high heat, it might break up, it might like come apart a little bit. So yeah. what you're doing is just really warming up the milk and the butter and that's what's gonna help the chocolate melt and get all glossy and smooth and beautiful Perfect. like I showed it. Oh, and here's a tip too for everyone at home. You can use like a tablespoon or a teaspoon to fill your little shells, but if you want, you could also just put the chocolate filling in a measuring cup, a glass measuring cup like and go that. like that to make it easier. So for toppings, okay. If you like the sweet and salty vibe, one of my favorites is some coarse sea salt. You could just sprinkle on top like I did on these here. I'll give everyone like a little that. peek. You could do uh -huh. some crushed pretzels, candy canes, obviously so festive this time of year. You could crush those up. And if you want like a healthier vibe, which is always fun too, you could do some pomegranate seeds. They have these usually right in the um, produce section at your supermarket. Okay or some raspberries would be pretty too. And then a really fun one for the kids and a favorite for a lot of people. You could also do some seasonal Oreos. You know, they have the like yeah. really cute mint and peppermint. And this is the fun part for everyone that's been feeling a little stressed out or whatever, both with the candy canes and with the Oreos, you could do like my grandma used to do and you just put them in a baggie, take the same measuring cup. You just get your frustrations out. I making your love crushed those topic. tips. <laughs> I love them. Exactly. And you know yeah. what? That is fun with your children to be able to do it. Like you can make them grown up or you can do it with sprinkles and your kids will love them. Exactly. It's so fun and so cute. And you know what I like too? It makes a small batch. I feel like so many cookie recipes that are out there make like 48 cookies, 68 cookies. And then, yeah. you know, if you have a lot of people to gift them to, great. But, you know, I, like I said, I'm all about happy meets healthy. So I've been a major uh, recipe developer, as you know, Marcy, for Weight Watchers or WW. And yeah. so these, these are just 55 calories each. And anyone that's following the Weight Watchers plan, two smart points. So it's a way to like really satisfy your sweet tooth with something that seems super decadent, but it's so easy to make. And you're not stuck with tons and tons of leftovers in your kitchen afterwards. All right, so this is an amazing recipe, Julie, but you have, like you were just saying, you are a recipe developer. So mm -hmm. where can we find more recipes, quick and healthy and yummy uh, recipes? And then also tell us about your cookbook. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. So you, everybody at home, check out my website. It's cookingwjulie.com. And I do, I have a free cookbook there to help everybody out. Everybody's been cooking at home so much more the past eight, nine months. Um, it's called 10 Healthy Meals in Under 20 Minutes. Perfect, like different options for everybody. So if you go to my website, again, cookingwjulie.com. You can grab a copy there. And I'm always on Instagram. I'm sure a lot of you at home like watching Marcy's uh, adventures and seeing her on Instagram. I'm active there too. It's so much fun. And we say hi to each other there. I'm at Cooking W Julie. So follow me there and come say hi. And if you like taking like cooking classes or getting even more in depth with the different tips, sort of like what I've been sharing here, but with meals and meal prep and everything. I have a YouTube show too. It's called Where Happy Meets Healthy. And you can find me on YouTube, Cooking W Julie. Pretty much Cooking W Julie everywhere. I love it. I love it. So give us some really quick, some healthy tips outside of eating all of these yummy desserts. What are some healthy tips for the holidays? Oh my gosh. Okay. So for the holidays, well, one thing you can never go wrong with is adding more veggies to any dish that you're making. So something that I like to do, you know, if I'm making some sort of like a saute or even meatballs or tacos, you could add chopped up mushrooms, peppers, and onions in with the meat mixture. Or if you're used, if you're vegan or going plant-based with the meat substitute mixture, and that way you can enjoy a bigger portion with some veggies added in. And another tip of mine 
a lot for people that don't really love eating their vegetables, or maybe you've got kids in the house yeah, or yeah. a hubby that doesn't like to eat them. If you roast your vegetables, um, pretty much anything comes out better roasted. I do them yeah. on um, parchment paper at about 450 degrees and the Perfect. parchment paper will soak up some of the oil and give you great browning. Awesome. So we will go to your website, find more of these yummy recipes and tips. And thank you so much for coming on Wake Up With Marcy. Thank you so much for having me and happy holidays, everybody. So those chocolate tarts looked so yummy and it's great to have a wine pairing. So I wanna to talk to you about enhancing both the chocolate tart and the flavor of a wine. You have to select your wine really carefully because a dry thin wine might taste flat when matched with the bold flavors of chocolate. And I have something great for you. It's called Weed Cellars Prosecco. And this is a match made in heaven for those chocolate tarts. Weed Cellars Prosecco is an off dry with just enough sweetness to stand up to those chocolate tarts. Have a bite of the raspberry chocolate tart before enjoying a sip of this Weed's Prosecco and the wine's expressive ripe fruit flavors will be brought to the foreground. Weed Cellars Prosecco is a medium bodied and has a medium weight on the tongue. This matches the weight of the chocolate tart. With the richness of the chocolate, it's balanced out by the flaky outer shell and the fresh raspberries. It's a great bargain too, at only $12.99, considering it's a 92 point wine. So truly a match made in heaven. Next up, Dr. D will share the importance of a smile and what a smile makeover is. Davidowitz, welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. Thank you so much, it's great to be here. So most know you by Dr. D, is that correct? That is correct, that's the name I hear throughout the office, being grabbed from room to room and being pushed into you know, different situations to help people out. <laughs> well, everyone needs you, and we're gonna be talking about the importance of a smile, which is such an incredibly important topic. So can you tell us the importance of a smile? Sure, it's scientifically proven how powerful a smile is and can be for both a person and the people around them. It just brings joy, it brings endorphins, good feeling, and it brings confidence that could really change people's lives. Yes, I will tell you, I've known people that don't have a good smile and they're constantly covering their face. And I'd ask you also, with, with people wearing a mask right now and we're not seeing the smiles, how difficult that is to, to give that expression, to, to share that kindness. So true. I, the, the great thing is, and my focus on a smile, not just the teeth. So even with that mask on, when somebody's smiling, you'll, you'll see it, you'll feel it. And that's, that's the power, right? That's the power of the smiles that the eyes will change, the, the, the face shape will change with the mask and you're gonna give over something. Obviously, when you take off the mask, if somebody's embarrassed of their smile, they won't be able to do that. If they're on a Zoom meeting, they won't feel that confidence. They won't be able to give over that power, right? That, that feeling of confidence right. and, and, and happiness. It is about self-esteem. So a smile, can change a life. Tell us how it can change a life. Uh, I have so many stories and I love these stories. It's really what drives me every morning to get out of bed uh, is the fact that I do have this gift uh, to be able to help somebody out, not just get them out of pain, but to give them confidence, to give them something that could change their lives. So some examples that we've had over the years uh, we've had people who were promoted in their job. We had people who uh, started dating shortly afterwards and you know, a year goes by and now they're married and now they have children and families. And really, you know, if, if you follow it through, we knew them for years before they decided to finally do it. And all of a sudden their life's just opened up. It does, you become a different person. So let's talk about the smile makeover. Please share with us what that is. 
Uh, so a smile makeover, it could be a, it could be a, a multitude of things. It really depends on what we need to do. Some people might have a really good smile, but there are you know, some issues and others really need a full transformation. So a smile makeover with Dr. D is using computer assisted design, uh, similar to what an architect would do when they're trying to build a masterpiece and framing it on a photo of a patient. So we're not just taking Julia Roberts' smile and just plugging it in because it, it might not yes. fit. So we're drawing it on this photo and we're actually using that to the exact uh, measurements to produce something that will look just like that simulation. So there's no taking off a bandage and wondering, you know, what am I gonna look like and hold a mirror and scream? Uh, they, they know because they saw it. They saw what I had, you know, in my mind, how I was thinking. It's not just verbally trying to explain to them what I'm gonna do. And it just makes them more comfortable. It makes the whole procedure more comfortable, more predictable and always amazing yeah. results. Amazing. So tell us why people would like neglect to taking care of their smile or making a change. It comes down to a, a few factors. One is it's very easy to be neglectful. Uh, it's a habit, right? If you don't have a habit of trying to take care of your oral health, uh, you're not, you don't put in the time, it's easy to continue down that road. And the second is fear. Uh, the, the term dentist sometimes will make people shudder. Um, yeah. I'm okay with that because I built a practice um, and my whole staff has that same feeling that when somebody comes in, they should leave smiling. And when they should be smiling when they get their appointment reminder that they're coming in. So the, the term dentist shouldn't have that fear, but people have that fear. And sometimes that could lead obviously to neglect because what's gonna happen there? Am I gonna be in discomfort? Is it gonna go, uh, come out well? What about my job? It's gonna take up too much time. So it's really getting past that mindset and just going there. And once you start taking care of your teeth and once you feel good, you never want to stop. So that's where yeah. good habits come. So you have co-authored a book called Smiles and you're working on a new book, which is incredible. So tell us about Smiles. Sure, uh, so I have a copy right here. This is, this is Smiles. It's available uh -huh. Kindle version as well as a hard copy on Amazon. We actually got to number one under uh, our field of cosmetics on Amazon with that. Uh, awesome. Was, thank you. Um, I was invited uh, to partake in this book as one of the authors. Uh, my chapter focuses on smile makeovers. That's my true love uh, using porcelain veneers. It goes through uh, the myths that are out there and we kind of debunk them. Um, and I also share stories about how lives have been changed after a smile makeover. So tell us why your office is different. Coming to you, Dr. D, why is that different than another dentist? So we, we named our practice Luxury Dentistry, NYC. Uh, we wanted to get rid of the dentist thought process and make it more of this luxurious experience. It helps people come through the door because they, they want to be pampered. I like to be pampered. Uh, and then once they're in the door and they realize that, hey, this is actually comfortable. I feel good. Uh, the office is amazing. The staff is amazing. Uh, and they get the pampering. Then we get down to it. You know, we, we get down to both the preventative and we get down to things like smile makeovers. Um, so that's, that's the term luxury dentistry. What makes us different is that we look at the smile as full facial beauty. If somebody has a beautiful smile, if I, whether I made it or it's just naturally given, but the framing around it is not really matching it, then the aesthetics and the symmetry is not there. So we do have procedures that help frame the smile. So if I'm doing a small makeover, we could present an option and do that same day fillers, Botox, uh, radio frequency skin tightening that we do called Evoke. So you're really getting a lot more than that traditional dental visit. Absolutely. I love it. I'm going to come in there. I need a little bit. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, well, Dr. D, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing about the importance of smiles and how you can change that for others. Thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. D. Have a wonderful Saturday. You too. Next week on Wake Up, we meet ballet dancer Kirsten Bloom Allen from Arc Entertainment Company. Hear how she and fellow dancers are bringing the art of ballet right to your living room. 
Stephen Murphy, AKA the Murph CEO of the Murph's famous Bloody Mary mix, teaches us how to make amazing Bloody Marys along with wings, meatloaf, and more. Lastly, we meet number one billboard recording artist and songwriter, Kendra Erica. We hear what has inspired her music and her upcoming single, Avalanche. It's time for gift giving and December has become the most commercialized time of year. Celebrating the holidays doesn't have to center around spending lots of money on things you really don't need. Today's pandemic has allowed us to take a step back and focus on what's important. Nature and our connection to it have become more important now than ever. We also realize life is about experiences. And while we may not have the opportunity now, we can give back and plan for the perfect vacation next year. Today, I'm sharing that Discover Puerto Rico invites pent-up travelers to adopt a Koki and virtually connect with nature this holiday season. Adopt a Koki encourages future travelers to support conservation efforts in Puerto Rico in exchange for a small donation that goes directly to Conservation Conciencia, a local environmental research and conservation organization. I want to share about an amazing destination for you, and that's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is home to one of the world's largest dry forests, the only tropical rainforest in the U.S. national forest system. Stunning pink salt flats, underground caves from the coast to the mountains, waterfall hikes, three of the world's five bioluminescent bays, the longest zip line in the Americas, and award-winning beaches. Puerto Rico's efforts in conservation and green energy have put the paradise at the forefront of sustainable tourism. When current local restrictions are lifted, Puerto Rico is the ideal place to connect with nature in 2021 and enjoy enriching experiences. It's time to give your family and yourself this gift. So visit discoverpuertorico.com for inspiration and to learn more about the abundance of things to do on this beautiful island. Wake Up With Marcy is sponsored by True Serenity Tea, which is a monthly subscription box that delivers award-winning loose leaf teas from around the globe to your doorstep. Check out trueserenitytea.com to order your subscription box. I wanna thank you guys so much for spending your morning with me. It's so important we learn the joy in our lives and the little things we can do to help ourselves. I want you to know that you can have anything you want in this life. You just have to believe. Just want you to know also that all the information about today's show is on my website and upcoming shows at wakeupwithmarcy.com. I have all my shows also on YouTube at Wake Up With Marcy. This is where my guests share their stories and educate us, teaching us to live our happiest lives. Stay connected with me on Instagram and Facebook, and I will see you next Saturday. Remember, be kind to yourself and others. See you soon. Thank you.